Hi there. My name is Steve. This is CQA Weekly. And Americans, your ISPs are lying about DNS over HTTPS. And this is why. First, DNS stands for Domain Name Server. Whenever you use a computer, laptop, tablet, mobile device, or anything else, go into a browser application, look up a new domain name, it needs to query a domain name server for the IP address and folder structures required to be able to connect you to the correct website. It's basically the phone book for the internet. And if every DNS server on the internet just stopped working right now, you wouldn't be able to access any new websites whatsoever because you'd actually have to know the IP addresses of those websites to begin with. So that's one thing that you need to understand about DNS. It is hugely important to the internet. The second is, is that the way we use DNS mostly is in plain text over an unencrypted channel. In a world where we have basically expected our web browsers to connect to the secure variants of every single website, have every application function on a secured tunnel that protects our identity, our information, and our privacy, and our DNS queries are still in plain text. They expose us to something known as the man in the middle attack. This can be done by bad actors and your ISP. If you're one of those smart people that decided to use a different service for DNS, like Google and Cloudflare, I have some news for you. You are still exposed to this man in the middle attack. You see, your ISP can see all the incoming and outgoing DNS packets. So basically your queries and replies and modify that information on the fly. In fact, that is so much of an issue that if a bad employee decided to poison or hijack the DNS server of the ISP itself, they could potentially send you to websites with cross-site scripting vulnerabilities, send you to places with malware, or even subject you to phishing scams to which you would be none the wiser. And this means that the only way that you can ever protect yourself is by not using DNS in the standard, conventional, plain text, unencrypted way. Because on top of all that, your ISP can see everything that you're trying to query to, records that information, and sells it to third parties, but not just your ISP. Every other server that your packets goes through records the information and sells it to a third party, whether it's for research or for statistics or for advertising. They're selling it to somebody else, and you're not actually giving any explicit consent to this. So why is DNS over HTTPS an important step in the right direction? Well, DNS over HTTPS is more secure and less vulnerable to DNS hijacking and poisoning. Those things that I just talked about before, where your ISP can modify which website you're going to, to a fake website, or even block your access to websites altogether. And by using DNS over HTTPS, your ISP could not do that anymore because the way that works is it sends the information of your query through an HTTPS tunnel and you get the reply back along this tunnel. Therefore, they don't see the contents of that encrypted tunnel much like a VPN. This means that you are getting something back, which is your privacy. You're also getting something back which is security. You also know that where you're trying to connect is the correct website because properly configured, a DNS server that is configured to work with DNS over HTTPS that queries websites correctly that are DNS secured enabled will return to you the real website. No modification, no advertising, no privacy infringements whatsoever. So you're getting your privacy back, you're getting security out of this, and you definitely know you're not being fished in the process. And just be warned that if you were to misconfigure for even a second a VPN, 
on your computer and for some reason your DNS information were to leak outside of the VPN, your ISP would still know where you were going and it could still potentially block you. So think of it this way. DNS over HTTPS not only covers your back over to public internet, but if for some reason you misconfigured something on your computer, you would still not be subjected to a privacy invasion. So whenever you hear somebody say that DNS over HTTPS is bad, remember, they can only get hijacked over the public internet using plain text and standard DNS. They can only have their DNS replies poisoned over the public internet. They can't even be sure they're connecting to the real website to begin with. And as a result, ISP is having so much control, they can even have their access blocked. Things that won't happen once we all switch over to DNS over HTTPS. The world will, by the way, be a much safer place. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. Share with those you think can benefit from this and don't forget to subscribe. And if you join, you can be part of our private monthly live streams for members only. Just click join for details. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekly.com or go to my website, tqwayweekly.com. We can see the show notes on this episode, past others, and of course, use the contact form to email me directly. And currently, I am playing Darksiders 3 on my Twitch channel, which is at twitch.tv slash zdaxis1981. And of course, I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning as of midnight. Thank you for watching and goodbye.